Hi, welcome back to Sugar Mama TV, your financial coach, creator, and counselor. This video is um, all about me, which sounds really um, odd and bad, but I wanted to explain to people about why I'm so passionate about sharing my messages and sharing my advice to you, and how I fell into the industry and um, uh, what financial harmony and independence means to me. Um, so my story is um, I went to uh, Macquarie University and was studying um, commerce and majoring in economics and marketing and I didn't really have any idea about what I wanted to do when I finished uni but I worked, um, I had a part-time job working at Greenwood um, Plaza and I was a bar girl and I used to make quite a bit of money in tips and I used to work really long hours. I'd come home at sort of 3 o'clock in the morning, 4 o'clock in the morning and I used to put all my tips um, into my bedside table and I'd come home stinking of cigarettes and sticky from beer and spirits and just dirty and I'd be exhausted and I'd just basically collapse into bed and, and fall asleep. Um, and I'd throw yeah, the tips into my bedside table and not really think anything of it. And then one day when I was procrastinating, I think I was either studying for an exam or working on an assignment, I decided um, I should probably see how much money I'd saved up in tips and I noticed that um, all the tips were really sticky and dirty and their own sort of small denominations and um, it was actually adding up to be quite a, it was quite a large amount of money from a sort of volume perspective, it took up quite a bit of space. So I didn't really know what to do so I took it to the bank and I took it to my local bank um, where my parents do their banking and this is before the Privacy Act had come in, um, so probably, I don't know, maybe 14 years ago. Anyway, I didn't know what to do. Um, I just thought, okay, well, it's taking up all this space. I'll get the five and ten dollar notes that are all added up, converted into a hundred dollar notes, and just at least it won't take up as much space in my bedside table, and I'll just bring it home and work out what to do with it later. Anyway, I took it to the bank and um, handed it all over, and they added it up, and they said that they needed to take my driver's license and um, for a copy of my driver's license and I just didn't think anything of it, handed them my driver's license um, and gave it um, back to me and, and handed me back my money which ended up being quite a large amount of money um, and uh, all in hundred dollar notes and off I went home, didn't think anything of it, put the um, money back in my bedside table and you know carry, continued on with my day Anyway, that afternoon, my dad came home, and um, he came home screaming for me. Um, I was in big trouble, and um, he said he'd been at the bank, and they asked whether they, he had a daughter, and um, did his daughter have a large amount of cash. And what the bank, my dad happened to have seen the same bank teller uh, who knew him um, that afternoon, and she told him about all this cash that I had stashed away. Dad went absolutely mental at me for two reasons. He said, one, if we get robbed, all that money is gone. It's not covered under insurance. And then the second um, thing he got really angry at me about was, why was it sitting in my bedside table? It wasn't earning any interest. It wasn't growing in value. It was just a complete, you know, a waste of my precious time. So literally the next day, my dad took me into my personal local bank and we deposited the money together and um, within a week, I had purchased, made my first investment. And um, I was really excited about that. I didn't really understand what it meant. I got a whole pile of paperwork in, in the mail. Um, and, um, and then a couple of months later, I received my first check, which was my first dividend. And I didn't have a clue what to do with it. Um, and I took it to my dad and said, oh, what, what is this? I didn't even know what a check really was. And um, my dad said, well, it's, it's a dividend, you've earned some income off your investment, you know, you've got to go and deposit it into the bank. And I said, well, what, what am I going to do with it? I don't really need it because I, you know, was, I work part time and I was studying, I, you know, I didn't really need the money. He said, well, you've got two options, you can spend it, or well, actually three options, you can spend it, you can save it, or you can reinvest it. And he said, if you reinvest it, the income, you know, will probably, you know, continue to grow and get bigger and bigger. And I kind of got excited about that and thought that was really cool. So I banked the, the check and then I continued, then decided to continue on buying investments and, um, and continue on reinvesting that income. And that's how I 
I sort of got into investing and, and, and I started to realize, wow, this is money, this is my money working for me. I'm not physically having to do for any, anything for it. And obviously at the time I was at uni, my, my living expenses were really low, but I started to get an inkling of the potential of this, of this passive income, this dividend income coming in and how cool it was and that it was covering, helping cover some of my living expenses. Um, so that then kind of, I guess I had an aha moment as Oprah would call it. And I realized this is really powerful. I want to be able to show other people how to do this and how to create this for themselves. So from that point on, I decided, okay, I want to become, I want to get into the financial services industry and, and show people how to do this for themselves. And so while I was studying university, I um, continued on working part-time, um, uh, working as a bar girl, and I also worked part-time for a financial advisor um, as an assistant, and you know studied uh, my advanced diploma in financial planning at the same time. So I really threw myself into the deep end because I wanted to absorb myself into as much information as much information as possible. So that's my story of, of how, I, how I fell into the industry and how I started investing. And um, I've been investing um, pretty much, um, you know, since that moment where my dad made me make my first investment. Um, and, you know, one thing for me is that drives me is security. Um, I remember as a child, I used to hate it when my parents would fight. I used to get so anxious and I'd stop. I wouldn't eat for days when my parents were fighting. And, you know, often, you know, fights as between most couples are often about money. And so for me, you know, if life is so stressful as it is, life is messy, things happen, people get sick, um, you know, marriages end, um, you know, uh, you have to move, you lose your jobs. If you can remove one major stress out of your life, life is going to be so much easier. So for me, teaching people and showing people how to create realistic financial independence um, and, and peace uh, for themselves is, I think, a very valuable gift. And I think it's something that can really um, free up your energy and your time and allow you to focus on the things that make you happy in life um, and, and give you a sense of security and a sense of fulfillment and happiness. So that's what I'm all about. That's my passion. And um, this is why I do what I do. And I, and I love what I do. So thank you for watching. Um, don't forget to subscribe to my channel because I've got lots more videos coming out soon. And you can follow me on Instagram at sugarmama.tv. And you can like us on Facebook as well. So thanks for watching. I'll speak to you soon. Ciao for now. Bye. <laughs>